Hello all, this is YouTube Rumble TikTok Film Update for August 29th. I think it's the last day of the month, I have no idea. 2023 for the political debates. Of course, the Democratic debates. No such thing as a Republican. Uh, they're now beginning all the debates. They're doing more arguing and solving problems. Uh, of course, you also have in the media, now all of a sudden they're having racial shootings. <laughs> but guess who's out? Al Sharpton. Typical. Everything's always racial with that nigger. <laughs> Let me say that with sarcasm. No disrespect to the good ones out there. There's always a liberal black coming out. No, racist shooting, racist shooting, racist shooting. But yet, none of, the, none of the liberal niggers and liberal whites want to come out and say, hey, they never want to admit they created $300 billion worth of damage, real estate damage, in 2020. Or because a nigger decided to do write out bad checks and do a lot more other crime. I just farted. My ass is talking for them. <laughs> Everything is always racial with them. They create $300 billion worth of real estate damage and they're claiming that's why crackers are white supremacists. It took 300 niggers and white, and white liberal crackers to do a a celebration dance about burning down a building. Well, guess what? They don't want to admit that in the year 2020, they decided to burn down a church. Now, to get to a serious moment, and I know this is going to be frowned upon by many, but I don't care. This is all about telling the truth. If us white crackers are white supremacists, then liberal blacks and liberal whites who decided to destroy real estate, $300 billion worth, and decided to burn down buildings without knowing if children were in them, and decided to burn down churches, that makes white liberal crackers, not normal people, and liberal niggers who were, do, who were destroying them too, that makes them satanic worshippers. It's like Black Lives Matter is a satanic worshipper. Antifa, also known as Black Lives Matter, are satanic worshippers. You burn down a you burn down a church. There's no joking in there. No matter if you are Jewish or Christian denomination. You call me a white supremacist, I'll call you black niggers and white liberals, white supremacists, a satanic worshiper. Because you're the one who stooped low enough to try to get, to try to, trying to get TV coverage by destroying every building without knowing if there was kids in it and not even caring. But of course, in the year 2020, when they're all destroying buildings, it took a black nigger to say, you destroyed my business. Yeah, meantime, it took a black to create bad checks cry the race card, and destroying everyone's life, all because of a no one. Now all of a sudden, a white guy kills three blacks. What's the matter? You can't throw out enough race cards? You have to, fit, you have to create another fake storyline? Just like they claimed Alex Jones at Infowars.com? Claimed that he was lying about the, about the school shooting? Yeah, he... He was not lying about the school shooting. The school shooting is fake. Why? Because I needed another storyline coverage. I don't want to know that this white guy, who supposedly killed three black people, wasn't fake either. Created by the liberal media. Okay? You're getting a racial shooting. Oh, yeah, it's always racial when it comes to the blacks. Everything is always racial, 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 racial. Meantime, if you say nigger publicly, uh-huh, racist. But yet they don't want to be confronted about destroying $300 billion worth of real estate. $300 billion. 
B-I-L-L-I-O-N. Bill Independent Leopard Leopard Independent Orange Nancy. Billion. For those of you who want a realistic perspective, that's the size of Freeport in here in New York. That's the size of Oceanside here in New York. That's the size of Baldwin here in New York. That's 3,000 children here in New York. Three niggers and getting killed and you want an easy way to cry the race card? How about naming every child you could have killed? How about naming all the people who own the houses that you liberal niggers didn't want to uh, admit to? And I don't mean that as in everyone who's listening. I mean that as the people crying out the race card. Now they're doing the debates with an Indian guy, Vivek Ramaswahi. No one knows anything about. They stick him on stage and they're crucifying him. <laughs> Nikki Haley, who's crucifying Vivek, I'm not a fan of the guy. I don't like him, but I will defend him simply because nothing but Democrats are crucifying him. Nikki Haley, who got fired within three weeks worth of becoming the ambassador of the United Nations, got fired by a loyal moral political leader from Auckland, New Zealand, who was unanimously voted in by the European territory in their own right way, Helen Clark, fired her, fired Nikki Haley's ass within three weeks because she found out that Nikki Haley has a criminal record. She went in smiling and came out with a frown. <laughs> The fact of the matter is, Nikki Haley, don't crucify R- Vivek Ramaswahi for not knowing what he's doing when you yourself have a criminal record. No one wants a criminal record in office. It's like Mike Pence. We don't want no half rookie. When we don't want a guy who goes into office being the vice president with Donald who decides to Certify voter fraud to get Biden in office, to preoccupy the office. We don't want a political leader doing that either. So take your counterfeit $3 bill ass and leave the stage because we don't want a guy who sanctions and certifies a voter fraud, just like they're going to do in the year 2024 when they're probably going to have a high rate of putting Biden back in office. Now, Fox News is sitting there going, saying, go out and vote, go out and vote, go out and vote, go out and vote. With a minute and a half left of this time limit. Let me ask you something. The fuck is the point of vote, voting if you're going to have voter fraud going on? According to Biden's voter fraud election that, he's, that he claimed to have won, since when do you have a population of 1.5 billion people in the U.S.? When the real number is about 500 million. The reality of this coming election? Don't vote. I'm a proud non-voter of almost 47 years. Why am I a proud non-voter? My conscience is clear. I didn't create the shit they have now. <laughs> I didn't create any of the shit they have now. I'm thankful I don't vote. Some of the idiots will say, well, if you don't vote, you don't have the right to complain. My future. You're the one, you liberals and idiots are the ones who are fucking it up on me and everyone else who wants progression. I have a right to complain about my future that's being destroyed. So the political fanatics who think if you don't vote, you don't have the right to complain, go fuck yourselves because everyone who wants progression has a right to complain even if they don't vote. Because the way this election is going, the minority are losing and the majority of the jackasses are destroying it. I think we're going to go on to part two.